You know what? I'm gonna leave this alone. You wanna call Andy? Go right ahead. Does that permission come with a challenge? It does. Are you up for it? Of course. You made the best for me win. You're kidding me, right? Mm -hmm. There is absolutely no reason why we should be competing over the same man. Come yeah. on. I agree. I'd hate for a man to come in the middle of our friendship. It won't. I'm not that interested in him anyway. Brooklyn, you know how much I love you. Hmm. And I love your trifling behind, too. Look, I hate to interrupt this shade fest, but did I tell you that James got a promotion? <laughs> Who's James? Ah, where do I start? James is amazing. He's smart, successful, graduated from Yale Law School, he practices at Atkins and Leaf. Uh, I haven't met his family, but I hear he comes from a very affluent family full of businessmen and politicians. Which, ladies, is very important when choosing a partner. Aren't you always telling us about a great guy you just met? Earlier this year, Daryl was the quote-unquote great guy until unfortunately he has to drop a load in your toilet. And I actually liked him. Excuse me, but James and I have been dating for six months. And he's been with me. Nice. You never truly know a man until you live with them. I, I thought you were against cohabiting with a man before marriage. I haven't changed my position at all. I view James as a suitable future husband. And there's nothing wrong with testing the merchandise before you purchase. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. But am I the only one having a hard time wrapping my head around the fact that she's been dating this man for six months and none of us have heard of him? That's not true. I told Ashley and Naya about it months ago. Hold up. So I'm the only one that doesn't know? I get you telling Naya before me, but Ashley? Hello? I'm right here. I can see you. Okay, so Hazel forgot to tell you. The point is, now you know. Oh, here he is. I hope you don't mind. I invited James to join us. Are you kidding? You invited James to Girls' Day Out? Hi, honey. Oh, okay, this day gets worse. <laughs> this rule doesn't deserve the number one slot, but it's definitely an unspoken rule of friendship. Don't ever bring your boyfriend to a planned ladies' outing unannounced. If you and your busy girlfriends are miraculously able to coordinate a day out, I would highly suggest leaving the boyfriend at home. It's the one time that we can bond and talk about what else? Men. <laughs>